Hi, my name is Anthony Cullen. I am a Sligo artist based in Dublin. I deal with uh, three general mediums, uh, video art, stroke, experimental film. I do figurative paintings, uh, oil and canvas, and I also do some illustration stuff that is involved with how we see mythology. So the first slide is from an experimental film titled Socialising in Alcohol. It's a bizarre narrative about a man who tries to escape the Irish way of using alcohol for socialising. He can't do it, he gets lonely and goes back to drinking and socialising. Even when he does uh, meet someone out when he is drunk, uh, he lies about it uh, to his mother as to how they met. It's shot in life's sna snapshots to recreate, uh, trying to remember the, the night before uh, when you were hungover. Uh, it's really about our culture's recurring cycle uh, of fear of intimacy. Okay, so now these slides are in chronological order. You know, this, so my work is going to be presented that way um, in this presentation. So the next three slides will give you a sample of a body of work from the oil and canvas range that I do. Uh, they are figurative paintings and the content of the paintings are an exploration of the topics of consciousness and also the soul. They are non-tangible ideas in this series. It's uh, half human and half ape with 20 plus paintings. The eyes then become quite an important feature, giving scope for a lot of interpretation issues such as, with issues such as awareness and control. The paintings are deliberately cropped to bring attention to the framing, mimicking television or other forms of media. Uh, the colours are desaturated, again mimicking current styles in film. I'm very much interested in modern ways of seeing and then impacting that onto the way that I paint. So uh, I like using figurative uh, painting to express abstract or non-tangible topics. I have completed a body of work in Consciousness and Soul, which you are looking at now. I am currently working on a series about performance, which you will see in about a minute. And I intend to do a series on beauty and one on good and evil as well. Okay, so the next slide is a video art piece and it is titled Leave It On. It is about a girl in her late teens who had to emigrate to Australia for work. She suffered extreme homesickness, so she used to fall asleep in front of the Skype as her parents would make breakfast back in Ireland. Again, the cycle of emigration and trying to break it. Um, I projected this onto a structure representing a single bed in the Avenue Road Gallery uh, in uh, Dublin about maybe about two years ago. Uh, so just to show that there is an installation side to some of the work that I do. And we will jump back into the figure of painting again. And the next two slides demonstrate the topic of performance or wearing a mask that I mentioned earlier. What's happening here is people have dressed up as something or other and they have assumed the character of the entity they are dressed up as. Uh, they are putting on a performance, so I put, paint this new performance, this character, or uh, my interpretation of this new character. There's about 20 waist high size paintings in this series. Uh, I'm very interested by this study, and I intend to come back and do another series and delve deeper into the masks uh, we wear, even in a day-to-day -day context. Um, okay, so the last film I'm going to show is a cityscape with two buildings, Liberty Hall and Hawkins House, uh, repeatedly being blurred out. The backstory is that there are ongoing proposals and talks for the demolition of both buildings. Uh, this is a project about fitting in and not fitting in. Uh, the Fort Theatre Royal building was uh, demolished to make way for Hawkins House. Again, there is a cycle here. Uh, a soundscape in the film reflects each building's former life. It's just a reflection on the decision-making decision process in this country. Okay, so I am going to start wrapping things up uh, uh, now and... There are a few examples of drawings from when I was between about uh, 14 and 17. They're heavily based in mythology. I am a good bit older and more cynical and less romantic now. So I intend to redraw these with a degree of separation. I am very interested in uh, interpretation, 
uh, and in viewing and the influences on us and um, this is just to give you an example of what you might expect from me in the not too distant future in the not too distant future in a couple of years there will be uh, more overlap between my video and painting work but at the moment the videos represent cycles within the physical world and the paintings are an exploration of the metaphysical and the illustration obviously as i mentioned before have uh, themes of mythology okay thank you